السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أنت نسيبك يا لطيف وحنور تاجنا هاي ماشي الديمونستريشن كا أنت داد يا دفر بدنا هالكم صوت بدك كم غليسان قلبونا كسنا وعن ملك استجبتان لايف يا نقص التكمينا الديمونستريشن كا كل عيا ملكو روحان وكلمة سفارة مريكا حتى نوحان هرجونا ماشي لردان استيل بريلا داوود countries who have been opposed, we're the part of the seven countries, there are seven, seven countries has been banned to enter the United States, we Somalia, yeah with the Trump, and also we receiving bombing every day, drones are killing our people. Outside down on the street, brothers. We are not jogging down on the street. Thank you, sisters, brothers, Sam Laker. I bring you solidarity greetings from Friends of the Earth and Friends of the Earth International, the largest grassroots environmental yeah. justice federation in the world. Friends, you don't need to be a climate scientist to know we're in a planetary crisis. Just one degree of warming is leading to killer floods and droughts in every single corner of the world. 7,000 people dead in one hurricane in the Philippines. Three and a half million people displaced by one drought in the Sahel. But friends, this is not just an environmental crisis. This is a crisis that says black and poor lives don't matter. This is a crisis that says a crisis of inequality and injustice. A crisis which puts profit before people and our planet. 
where the richest 10% of the world are responsible for 50% of global emissions and the poorest 50% of the world are responsible for only 10% of emissions. An unequal world where just eight men, eight men own as much as 50% of the world's population. And friends, and now we have at the moment when we need to come together, we have a climate denialist in the White House. A man who wants to build walls and fences, who wants to use racism and xenophobia to divide us. And do you know why? Because his cabinet, his government, is a government of big business. A government that wants the right to pollute our land, the right to pollute our air, the right to pollute our water, to put their profit before our well-being. Friends, it's this time we need more solidarity and more justice for us to be able to tackle these global problems. We are in decade zero. The decisions we make now will determine the lives and livelihoods of millions of people all around the world. But friends, this is not just in the United States. The forces of hatred are on the march all across Europe, from France and Germany and the Netherlands. Friends, and also here, we're here in the United Kingdom, we're now told that because of Brexit, because of austerity, we have to have even less regulation. We have to say yes to fracking. We have to put the lives and livelihoods and the rights of our communities at risk. And friends, we say no to that. But friends, let me say, Donald Trump talks about building walls. But let's remember that here in Europe, we are already building walls and fences across Europe, where each year 5,000 people lie drowning in the Mediterranean. Or oh, their only crime, the right to a dignified life. Friends, we need at this moment, we need a movement that says yes to solidarity, yes to justice, that says no to racism and no to wars, that says refugees are welcome here, that says climate refugees are welcome. And as friends of the earth, we're proud to be mobilising alongside you and across all across the world. But let me finish, friends. When I was growing up as an immigrant, in a Muslim family in the, in the north, my parents used to tell me that one day we'd be kicked out of this country. One day the forces of hatred would, would be so strong that we'd always have to prepare. And as a young man, I joined the anti-racist movement in the black struggle. And in the 70s and 80s, we smashed the races and the fight. Yeah! And we said here to stay and here to fight that we have a right to live here, free from attack. And now, in the communities, in the Muslim community, in the black community, in many minority communities, that fear is starting to rise again. But as that fear started to rise, all across our communities, we looked. We looked at the protests that have been taking place in the United States. The tens of thousands of people who have been coming out on the streets last week and today. And you know what that message said? It sends a message that when they came for the Muslims, we said, not today, not ever. <laughs> Friends, we can't go quietly into the darkness. We need to build a movement, a movement that unites all of us, a movement whose beating heart is justice. And friends, and that's that movement I see out there. Thank you. who is a very young 16-year-old man. He has set up something called Hearts for Refugees. Please give a warm welcome to Ismail Yacoub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm sorry for that to you. Uh, yeah, this is probably like the first ever speech I've ever done in my life. So yeah, I'm a little bit scared. But uh, yeah, 
just want to start off by saying good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon to Theresa May, even though she's probably not listening to me right now, because she's probably eating lunch with a racist bigger who doesn't know how to dye his hair. As you heard before, I'm 16 years old, which you're probably thinking is quite young. And many of my friends, um, they don't know what I do. They think I'm a little bit weird because I just stand on street corners with these banners shouting all these words that they don't understand. But I really want to use today to reach out to all of the young people. Young people, scream for me! I want to reach out to every single young person out there to tell you that you can be involved in this. Our future, this is our politics as much as it is everyone else's. So, obviously, the world of politics can be quite scary. There's this guy who rides his bike to work every day, and then there's this guy who had a few mishaps with a pig. But, I'm here to tell you that we can use our own ways to try and spread the message of peace, anti-Donald Trump, welcoming refugees. We can all hashtag, we can dab, we can wear everyone right now, dab for refugees, dab for refugees right now. Come on, everybody. Okay, now I'm gonna try and be a bit more serious now. Um, I'm gonna talk about myself, obviously being British, um, completely British, born here, only thing I've ever known is being British. And I've never had a problem with being Muslim and British at the same time. I, from a young age, I, I was accepted by all my friends in my class, except for the fact that I couldn't eat a ham sandwich, everything else was pretty much the same. Um, but now, um, in the current climate, things, things, they're not bad. I just guess they're changing a little bit. People have started asking me questions like, what's that funny black thing people wear on their heads in your religion? And, um, are you ISIS? And I'm like, uh, have to try and explain myself out of it. And, uh, I think everyone around me right now here today could probably, um, relate, relate to um, in terms of what we're out here protesting for today, Donald Trump's Muslim ban on seven countries, um, predominantly Muslim, uh, so basically a Muslim ban that like he's a Loki trying to do, um, uh, is absolutely disgusting. When I heard about this on the news, um, I saw it and I was like, what the hell? I, I, I went straight onto Instagram and Snapchat, I put on my story, no one knew what I was talking about, but I still did it anyway, and um, I'm utterly disgusted that he can discriminate against people because we have a different pigment in our skin. All Donald Trump is doing is helping the people that want to divide us. I'm doing GCSE history, and guess what I'm learning about? Nazi Germany! Guess what I think this is? This sounds exactly like 1933, when Hitler rose to power! Everything he's doing is exactly the way Hitler rose to power. Starting it off slowly, everyone slowly, slowly moving the right way because they don't like they don't like people like us because we're a little bit scary for some reason. And, and, and yeah, but we all need to make sure that we're not going to let this happen. Are we going to let this happen? Yeah. No! No, we're not. We're not going to let this happen. So I'm just going to say, to finish off, thank you everyone for being here today. Thank you so much for letting me speak, uh, even though I might have been a bit rude or not knowing why I was saying some of the time. And uh, I just wanted to say, um, uh, yeah, thanks.